Hi everyone, it's Melody from Melody Lane Designs. I am going to make a happy birthday banner. I found this, both of these actually, were from Cricut Mini Celebrate. I have no idea where they came from. I imagine I got them when I registered my Cricut Mini because I know I didn't pay for them, but they're always in my cartridges in Cricut Craft Room. So I cut these out at seven and a half inches and this is how they both came. And what I did is I cut 16 of these out and I put them two on a page. In my cut file I made it so they look like this. So I used eight and a half by 11 paper and I could cut two of these out on the paper. So I did that and then I cut yellow, blue, and green to put behind it. I was thinking of popping these up too. I think they would be really cute popped up. And I would do that, but I'm going to make a rosette and orange. And I have, I'm probably going to use my ribbons and rosettes cartridge, and I haven't decided yet how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to make an orange rosette on here. And then I think I'm going to put like a circle on the rosette with this because this is for the salon I work in. It's called Eclipse Salon. Our logo is black with some orange around it. So that's kind of why I'm doing the orange rosette. And that gives it more color too. And then I think I'm going to have Happy Birthday written on this white glitter paper from Joann's. I flipped this top paper over. So they won't all start the same. See, this is just flipped over. Otherwise, they would all be looking exactly the same. And with this kind of a pattern, I think they should look different. So I did that differently. So that's that. So now I have to put adhesive on all of these. And I'm going to let you... Watch me do one to see how I'm doing it. I'm putting it right on the edge. And then I'm also putting it through some pieces. And then I'm lining up the holes to match. These holes. And then if there's some adhesive on there, I just rub it off. Okay. So I'm going to put the rest of these on and you can come back when I do the rosettes. Okay, now I'm working on the rosettes and here it's going to take two of these. I welded actually two pieces together so all the score lines are missing and that's okay because I'm just going to use my Martha Stewart scoreboard. I can't say to do it every half inch or so. There is no exact measurement for the cutout I have. I cut these out at two and a half inches. But I know where they need to be cut. Here at this tab. And then right in between each cutout here. So I'm just going to line up a score line right in the middle of each one. Now what I've noticed is if I do it every other line is pretty much lined up. Yeah, 
You might just have to move them just a teeny bit. But if you do every other one and then line up the other ones, then it's a lot easier. And you could possibly even fold it over and do them scoring that way, but I don't find that necessary. And then I'm just folding it like this. Doesn't take long at all. Then I press it. And then I use my ATG gun and put adhesive right here. And I will put that adhesive there and f stick to these together that way and then stick these together. I'm going to show you I have. Okay, here's one I already have together. So I adhere the two together there. Okay, now I'm going to be putting the rosettes on here like this one. And then I put the circle on top of it and then I'm going to put a letter on here. First, I need to do this. And the trick to this is scrunching it all together so it's all kind of like together and it's hard to get the hang of it. It just takes a little practice. I don't know any tricks to tell you. You just kind of like push it open and then if there's some sticking out that are wrong you fold those the way they're supposed to be. There we go. Okay, and I think I want the middle to be about right here. And I want them all in about the same spot. So I'm just eyeballing it. Holding that down so that glue at the bottom will dry. And then I'm gonna put a pile of glue here and set this in the middle. And then I'm going to have letters on here. I think I'm going to make the letters bigger than maybe like that size. So there we have it before we put the letter on. Okay, I finished my banner. And what I did is I hot glued the letters onto the black circles. And I put an extra blank one on the top here on each end of the happy because I'm going to do this as two banners, one that says happy and one that says birthday. So we can do happy birthday and put the birthday underneath the happy. So there it is. And I'm going to take this to work and we're going to hang it up. And I'll take some more pictures of it, and I'll hopefully put one at the end of this video if I remember. But here it is. Happy birthday. We'll see how it hangs up. I just string the ribbon through. As you can see, it's just the skinny ribbon. This is the ribbon. It took almost the whole roll. There's still some extra on here I can roll back up. I'm not sure how we're going to hang it. I'm going to bring some purple duct tape just to see how it goes. Because we're hanging these on mirrors for a stylus salon station. And this font came from Feeling Groovy, which is
which I love this font. It's kind of like a fun font, I think. And I used ribbons and rosettes. And then the Cricut Mini Celebrate, which is just like a little party thing where the pennants came from. Thanks for watching!